Hey you guys, welcome back to Hyperfix Garage and today we are back with a big, big video. Today we are finally walking through the warehouse with all the vehicles that we get to work on and hopefully uh, you guys will pick something for us to work on here every so often. So basically, there's we, we're in this big warehouse full of a bunch of cars. All of them are really old, they're really nice and they've all got something to do to them. Uh, right now Mike's out back, he's getting his car ready for the meet that you'll see later in the video uh, that we're going to be vending at with Soslo. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and walk through the warehouse. I want you guys to prepare your eyes and your brain for what you're going to see because the first time I saw this, I never thought I'd see this in my life. So let's just go ahead, we'll walk out, we'll walk through everything and we'll give you the rundown. So Mike just pulled his car in, but we're gonna start here with the front door and start with the Ferrari Testarossa. This is actually a kit car, so I believe it's a Fiero that they've put the Testarossa kit on. And so, and everything on the inside is pretty good um, condition here. It's full of a bunch of stuff. There's a lot to do to it as far as the inside. Uh, they've got new NRG seats for it, which will do. But uh, that is this. It's pretty cool. I don't think it runs at the moment. So we'll have to work on trying to get that to run. Next thing here, we have this Buick, uh, it says special air on the side. Uh, we'll take a look around back and see what it is. But this has got, needs paint. It comes off a lot better on camera than it really is. Uh, there's a lot of areas where the paint could use a lot of work. But this one, I'm not quite sure what it needs done to it other than the paint, but that's here for that. We will move on here to our first, I believe this is Camaro. Um, this one doesn't have a motor in it. We've got a motor sitting way over there uh, to put inside of it, but it's pretty much ready to go to throw a motor in it. The paint just needs to be cleaned real good. The interior is nice. Again, I don't know how well you can see, um, but, and then you've got the hard top. It's kind of looked like it's leather, which actually it feels like leather. Um, and I mean, it's, this is pretty much good to go once we throw a motor in it. And then we have the Corvette. There's a few newer cars in here. Um, this Corvette, it needs something to do with the intake. So it's an automatic. Inside's looking pretty good. But uh, there's a couple things we can do on here. And then while we're right here, we have the Volkswagen Thing, one of two that are in here. This one runs and drives. It's got a pretty cool exhaust setup down here. But... Uh, this probably needs a little bit of interior work, but other than that, it's it's good to go. It's got even a new Bluetooth radio in it. It's manual, and the paint is just great on it. So this one has the rear engine, and then everything in the front, I believe it's like a Beetle, to where you have the gas tank here in the front. Um, before we go over there, uh, we're gonna start around here, and then we're gonna go outside, because there's a bunch of cars outside, and then we'll do all in here. We have this GMC, I believe he called it a GMC Sprinter. Um, right now he's got it sanded down so they can do a little bit more body work and they can actually uh, get this thing painted. Once it's painted, they can put new tires on it and put the front back on it and it's ready to go. Um, this one's one of the newer ones he has. Um, he's got to do some bed liner here in the back, do some body work as far as the metal work goes. Uh, you can see here on the tailgate, it's got a good amount of rust. So basically, all we would have to do is fix a few rust spots, uh, put the trim on, get it painted, which we actually do down in Florida. And then the interior has got a few things like being cleaned and stuff like that, but that's not too concerning. Next thing, we have this cool Volkswagen bus. Um, I don't know the story on this one. Uh, according to Mike, the guy who had it last, every side has a different kind of scene on it. So you got, you know, animals in the jungle, you got a boat there. And then if you go around to the front here, we have snowy mountains with wolves. And then on this side, we've got a bunch of cool cars painted on the side. Uh, the interior, I've never actually seen the interior of this car. And I'm there slipping over the fluid. Oh wow, the interior in here, I don't know if you can see, let me get the uh, 
get the flashlight going. This is pretty nice in here as well. So it looks like it's already kind of been set up with a bed area. So somebody was overlanding or actually used this as a van to camp out of. And then next you have the BMW 2002. This one's newer here to the shop. A little bit of body work that it needs, probably some paint. Um, a little bit of engine work as well. Some of these don't run, so I don't believe this one runs right now. And then again, the interior in this one's really good. And we can go over any of the cars you see here more if you request it. And we'd, we'd love to show you more. Uh, next we have an old Mini Cooper. Uh, this one has a four-cylinder, but this four-cylinder is tiny. Like, this is my hand, and uh, it's it's almost the same size as my hand. You could pick that one up. This one runs and drives. This one used to be sitting over there, and we had to move it over here because we got a bunch of cars. And then you got this. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of what it is. Um, it says Porsche on the side. Um, the interior is pretty good. Um, obviously everything kind of needs a little bit of something those floorboards could be done uh, And then I believe this one runs actually this one says it's a Porsche 914 so uh, I've, I've never seen one of these out on the road But I can't wait to get this thing up and running out on the road and then right here We have a mini Cooper with what it looks like to be an e30 body kit on it So it looks like an e30 front end you got the wide body here with the little tires, which I think is kind of cool. Um, same interior. I don't believe this one runs. This one is right-hand drive. Same with this other one over here. They're both right-hand drive, and these have bucket seats in them. So I don't know if that one's locked, so I'm not going to try to open that. This warehouse is kind of a culmination of different things for storage, mostly cars. Uh, oh, and while I'm right here, this is an Opal. So... This thing, I don't believe right now, runs or drives, but it is, this thing is tiny. It's, it's probably about the same size as the 280. What makes this car really cool is these headlights, they're pop-up, but they don't pop up in the traditional way. They don't actually go up and down like that. They uh, swivel like this, so they would be closed, and then they go like that to open, like that to close. So that's pretty cool, and this paint color, this is really pretty. Um, this red here which could use some buffing, probably a repaint, as you can see there on the hood. But uh, we'll start going outside before we get to the main room. What's really cool is here we have a 260Z. Um, and this one doesn't run. It needs a lot of work because just like any normal Tutsin at this you know year age, uh, it's got a lot of rust. So the this is... The same motor that is in the 280ZX that I own, but this one has carbs on it, so it's not fuel injected. There are a few things in here I don't quite know what they are, like that canister right there, the 280 doesn't have. That is a, I believe, a charcoal canister for emissions. Um, and then here you even have some ducts that go from the front here into the fender well, I believe for the brakes. Um, so that's really cool. That's something that 280 does not have. Um, but... This one, Mike is going to try to get and fix up. Um, it needs a few things here on the interior, but other than that, I mean, for a typical Datsun restoration, it really isn't bad. So, I mean, it's got rust there, rust there on the quarters. I'm sure the floors are pretty much gone, um, but I really, really love the rear of the Zs compared to the ZXs. Uh, I just, I love that so much, plus the rear end, it, it's not got the long window like the 280 does. It's got the swoop, so that's pretty nice. And uh, I mean, we can we can do something on this if you guys would want. And then next we have this Triumph, which is white. It needs a soft top on it, but this thing is clean. Uh, I believe we have a red one inside on the other side there that we can show you. And then this here is Mike's Datsun truck. So. This one needs a lot of work. There's a lot of pitting in the paint. Um, the hood could leave something to be desired. It needs a new hood. A little bit of body work here and there. It's already got the front guard. This looks like it was a pot, uh, parts truck. Um, so I really like that paint job. And if we could basically clear over the patina, that would be awesome. Uh, the only thing is if you look here in the floorboards, again, they probably need some body work there in the floorboard, stuff like that. There's some mold over there, but this has been sitting outside for quite a while. So this is this is Mike's truck. 
uh, that we haven't really worked on much. And then you have the Chevy Love truck. This one. This one's really cool. I really like the old Chevy Loves. Nice little ones. It's got a new hood in there. Um, the interior isn't too bad, honestly. Um, it still has the flooring in it. The seats are still uh, cloth. And it just really just needs cleaned up and get, you know, got running. So uh, this one is pretty cool to have. And then we just have a hovercraft over there, which is pretty cool to say. We just have a hovercraft sitting at the shop. That's pretty cool. And then here, this is Mike's MG. He just brought this down from uh, Pennsylvania where he used to live. And this was a parts car for him, but he's going to go ahead and fix it up and see if he can't trade this one for that 260 that's over there, which would be really cool so we can have matching dots. And the interior is pristine on this. Um, if I can figure out how to open the door. Um, he's got a head sitting in there. Um, everything in here is really nice. It's got the factory soft top, but it's got a hard top on it. And then the motor, I believe. Yeah, there's the motor. So it's got a little bit of work to be done, but there's plenty of room in this engine bay to do that, which is really nice. Um, and then we have one of a few Volkswagen Beetles. This one is a, I don't believe this is the Super Beetle. Uh, this one's real nice. I have driven this one you just around the shop here, and it drives real good. The interior's all redone, all new glass. It's got a sound system in there, and, I mean, all the leather's been redone. It runs very good, so happy to see this one finally running, because when I started working here, here and there, that one wasn't running. But we have this Beetle. This one's been sitting out back for a long time, and it's pretty much rusted off the frame. As you can see, uh, let's see, yeah, so we have a body on the inside that is not a beetle body technically that we're going to swap over onto this and we'll get to that when we get there. And then we got a few trucks and another car over there. I'm not quite sure what those are, um, but I digress. They are there and they are willing to be worked on. So uh, again, whatever cars you see that you would like to see us work on while we're going through this, uh, feel free to leave a comment um, and see whichever top comment is. We might go ahead and just work on that vehicle next. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll, we'll hit a couple cars on the outside. Then we will hit the main part of the shop. Purple Bel Air right here. What's really cool is the top. So we'll get to that in a second. But it's got a nice purple paint job with the gold badges. Uh, there's not too much rust on this, honestly. Uh, and I believe this one runs. So it just needs a little bit of interior work here um needs cleaned needs the seats done um, but the top here the last owner did some cool work and it has like some spider web design which is pretty cool um it's weird because it's kind of 3d too so it makes it textured if you were to touch this you can actually feel the difference between that and then obviously you have the forerunner sitting right there we have this purple monte carlo which has got some cool flames on the front end I could use a little bit of interior work as well down the floorboard area but other than that again the leather seats are still in great condition and i mean the, the wheels on it are pretty cool as well so and then we have the new porsche 944 that one's the new one this one's the one that's been sitting this one i believe has a misfire so there's a few things it needs other than that interior is good this one's good runs and drives um I'm trying to see the differences on it. That one's got a painted valve cover that I can see. This one doesn't. Um, I believe they're the same thing. And the interior on it, again, is in really good condition. These are both, I believe, five or six speeds. So that's pretty cool. And then you have this Porsche. Uh, if any of you guys watch TikTok, uh, there's a guy who's making a custom wide body for one of these. Um, so. Uh, he's right now working on the front. It's going to be really cool to see where he goes on it and where we can go. This one has to have the motor pulled because it uh, it smokes quite a bit. So we got to figure out what's going on there. But uh, we'll get that pulled and see what's going on. This motor looks like a V8. This one's pretty cool. I haven't seen it set up like that. So it's got the cool ducting right there for the intake. And here we have a race car. This one's a Chevelle. It kind of looks like an El Camino. From the back here but this one 
This one's got some big meaty tires there on the back. And this one used to be sitting over there. And I guess it got it to move. So it's got a little bit of engine work done to it. So this one's pretty quick. And then this 340, um, this is a Super B. This one we've had, we put the new brakes in it. We basically went from drum brakes all around to disc brakes all around. So we got that converted. Um, there's a little bit of interior work to be done. Very, very little interior work to be done. Um, if anything, just cleaning really. Um, but this one runs and drives. And I believe this one stops too with the brakes, but I don't remember where we got on that. And then here we have the Ford Pinto. This one is just recently repainted. It used to be white um, and the interiors pristine on this thing. Um, yeah, they just painted it. So the jams are the only things that are still white, but it's still the, the white and the blue does not look bad at all. And honestly, I would never know that it was repainted. Uh, there was a little bit of body work to do here and then on the fenders a little bit but other than that it was just getting this prep for paint and then taking it down to paint next is this thing i believe this is a mike this is a corvette right what? the red one over by the 86 yeah it's a 66 corvette stain drag paper Ooh. and then what kit with a 350 Oh, and then back there, that beetle that we were showing outside, that's getting the uh, uh, dune buggy body put on. <laughs> this thing needs suspension. That's an off-road vehicle. <laughs> Old milk feel, truck. You ain't gonna feel, you ain't gonna feel no bumps. Oh no, it's gonna be like that uh, uh, electromagnetic suspension on those LS400s. Yep, that's it. What does this one need? Uh, body work, if you see, like rust it out. Oh. And then you got like rust poking through here. And you got some on the door. Ooh. Look at that big V8, bro. <laughs> this one's cool. Two cylinder. What? Yeah. That's a two cylinder motor. The motor's right here, and the transmission is right here. Mm -hmm. And that is the weirdest linkage. Yeah, that's the shift. <laughs> I mean, this is the starter. Right there. You pull the wire on the inside, and it'll start. That's Doesn't weird. Doesn't have the key or nothing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and the Mustang. We have to show the Mustang. You want to start it? Yeah, can you start it? Yeah. That ain't stock. Huh? That ain't stock. Nah, I don't stock. <laughs> All right, so we've pretty much run out of time to go over everything in the shop right now. So we are loading up. We're gonna head back to the house so we can load the forerunner up, so we can take everything to the car meet and set up. So uh, once we're back to the house, while we're loading up, I'll get a few shots there. But uh, this car meet's pretty big. It is at Lanier Raceway here in Atlanta, right by uh, Road Atlanta. Um, so once we get there and we're walking through cars, I'll kind of preview what we got going on there because it's going to be a pretty big meet. And I also know that they're going to be doing drifting up there too. So I want to get a few clips for you guys for that. So let's just go ahead, get in the forerunner. Uh, we got Mike over there with the Fiat and we're going to trek up to the house so we can load up and head to the meet.
Well, uh, as you saw, there's some good B-roll shots. This was a House of Honda meet, so there are a bunch of Hondas, but we did have a booth set up with So Slow, um, and I just set the camera down to help her do her thing for a little bit. Um, and as well, as far as the warehouse goes, um, like I said, if you guys want to see us work on something up there, just let us know. Uh, we have that Z, and we have a bunch of other cars. Um, and there was even a row that I didn't get to because we were out of time So if you guys want to see more on a specific car Let me know and I can make that video and if you guys want to see us work on a specific car Let us know and we'll get into it um, But other than that I just noticed that we hit a hundred subscribers and I want to say thank you guys so so much It really does mean a lot just to have a hundred subscribers um, that it, it's a lot um, for you guys to say you enjoy like what I do um, with subscribing so again thank you so much uh, if you guys want to see more videos on the 280 there's stuff there's a lot more to come um right now it's on hold with the current situation that the car's in where i'm living and stuff like that as well as um we're going to be working up at the shop for a little bit so that gives us some time to accumulate a lot of parts uh, we have a lot of parts for the forerunner i don't know if i'm going to record it um, i'm going to do a timing belt uh, water pump stuff like that because the AC and everything works, but the AC belt went loose and I, While I'm in there. I might as well do all of that. So that's what we're gonna do um, If you guys want to see more videos on that, let me know and I'll do a lot more videos on it um, And then other than that again, just let me know what you want to see from the warehouse But uh, you can see everything on the 280 in the playlist everything on her car and then a playlist and everything for the forerunner in the playlist uh, on the channel if we do a lot of videos on it. So again guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.